old Yorks. Oh, once we Yorks. But now my house is broken. Thanks to me. He needs you. He based his claim for England on you being by his side. All I have ever wanted all my life is to marry a man for love. Well, now I have no choice. You must be strong. You will marry Henry Tudor. You will be Queen of England. You think you have a choice? You think you have free will in this? I'm the king, I do not. Today I am a whore and a martyr because that is what he has made me. I will pretend to be a dutiful wife but only to their faces. He is my enemy and so is his mother. Well, why did you slaughter Richard if you do not wish to be king? Because I had been trained to do it all my life. It is God who put my Henry on the throne. That is what my life has been as well. A puppet for my mother's own ambition. And God who puts my daughter on the other throne beside him. Henry. Now that you have Arthur, you are joined with us. And any threat against Henry is a threat against our boy as well. She saw before I did myself that I am Tudor now. The birth of Arthur makes me so whether I like it or not because I will never stand against him. Our son puts me on your side forever. You may disbelieve it if you choose. But you are all I have now. Your mother. Lizzie, she has done her worst. Come look at us. Oh. You're still here. And you? Here? With the king? Much has changed between us. Ours too is now a happy union. If you fear God, then you will honor your true king, Henry Judah. They called him Edward, not my murdered brother. What do you see? An innocent, a dear sweet nephew? Of course not. You love him? Of course I don't. He is my... He is my burden. And so is she. And yours. And all of our children's. You are changing, Maggie. And I'm not sure I like who you've become. <laughs>